In this tutorial, I'll show you how to scrape Twitter data in five minutes without using the Twitter API, Tweepy, Python, or writing a single line of code. All right, let's get into it. Hello everyone, this is Millie with the Octoparse, a non-coding web scraping tool. As Octoparse simulates human interaction with a web page, it allows you to pull all the information you see on any website, such as Twitter. For example, you can easily extract tweets of a handler, tweets containing certain hashtags, or posted within a specific time frame, etc. All you need to do is to grab the URL of your target web page and paste it into Octopus built-in browser. Within a few point and clicks, you'll be able to create a crawler from scratch by yourself. When the extraction is completed, you can export the data into Excel sheets, CSV, HTML, SQL, or you can stream it into a database in real time via Octopus APIs. Before we get started, you can click on the link in the description box to install Octopus on your computer. Now, let's take a look at how to build a Twitter crawler within 3 minutes. Let's say we're trying to scrape all the tweets of a certain handler. In this case, we are scraping the official Twitter account of Octopus. Step 1. Input URL and build a pagination. As you can see, the website is loaded in the built-in browser. Usually, many websites have a Next Page button that allows Octopus to click on and go to each page to grab more information. In this case, Twitter applies infinite scrolling technique, which means that you need to first scroll down the page to let Twitter load a few more tweets and then extract the data shown on the screen. So, the final extraction process will work like this. Octopus will scroll down the page a little bit, extract the tweets, scroll down a bit, extract, so on and so forth. To let the bot scroll down the page repetitively, we can build a pagination loop by clicking on the blank area and click Loop Click Single Element on the Tips panel. As you can see here, a pagination loop is shown on the workflow area. This means that we've built a pagination successfully. Step 2. Build a loop item to extract the data. Now let's extract the tweets. Let's say we want to get the handler, publish time, text content, number of comments, retweets, and likes. First, let's build an extraction loop to get the tweets one by one. We can hover the cursor on the corner of the first tweet and click on it. When a whole tweet is highlighted in green, it means that it's selected. Repeat this action on the second tweet. As you can see, Octopus is an intelligent bot and it has automatically selected all the following tweets for you. Click on Extract Tags of the selected elements and you'll find an extraction loop is built in the workflow. But we want to extract different data fields into separate columns instead of just one. So we need to modify the extraction settings to select our target data manually. It's very easy to do this. Make sure you click into the action setting of the Extract Data step. Click on the handler and click Extract the tags of the selected element. Repeat this section to get all the data fields you want. Once you're finished, delete the first giant column which we don't need and save the crawler. Now, our final step awaits. Step 3. Modify the pagination setting and execute the crawler. We've built a pagination loop earlier, but we still need a little modification on the workflow setting. As we want Twitter to load the content fully before the bot extracts it, let's set up the Ajax timeout as 5 seconds to give Twitter 5 seconds to load after each scroll. Then, let's set up both the scroll repeats and the wait time as 2 to make sure that Twitter loads the content successfully. Now, for each scroll, Octopus will scroll down for 2 screens and each screen will take 2 seconds. And then, head back to the loop item setting to edit the loop time to 20. This means that the bot will repeat the scrolling for 20 times. Everything looks great, 
Now you can run the crawler on your local device to get the data, or run it on Octopus Cloud servers to schedule your runs and save your local resource. The blank cells in the columns mean that there is no original data on the page, so nothing is extracted. If you find this video useful, would you give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel? Thank you so much. If you have any questions on scraping Twitter or any other websites, email us at support at We're so ready to help.